Since 2011, more than 1.2 million Syrians have sought refuge in Jordan. This has put additional strain on already overstretched social services, significantly affecting access to vital assistance in host communities. Emergency healthcare in particular is one critical service that has been impacted, with many emergency departments having to operate over capacity. To help make sure hospitals are better equipped to deal with the rise in demand for health services, a project funded by the European Union and implemented by UNOPS has provided support to three main public hospitals to help them expand their emergency departments in addition to procurement of medical equipment and furniture. Jamil Tutanji Hospital, located to the southeast of the capital Amman, struggled to keep up with the increased demand for its emergency health services to the 700 people that come through its doors every day. It is one of the three hospitals to receive support from the EU-funded project. Now, the hospital's emergency department has 49 beds instead of 29. <laughs> مستشفى التتنجي أنا اللي ملاحظوا أنه انتقل نقلة نوعية خلال هالفترة البسيطة هاي يعني عمرنا ما كنا نحلم إلا غير نروح على البشير أو على حمزة In the governorate of Irbid, in the north of Jordan, Ramtha Hospital experienced similar issues struggling to provide emergency health services. The hospital, which serves around 240,000 Jordanian nationals and 70,000 Syrian refugees, now has 46 beds instead of 14 in its emergency department. قسم الإسعاف والطوارئ يستقبل بال 24 ساعة بين 550 إلى 600 مراجع يوميا بال 24 ساعة. جهز كاملة بجميع الأجهزة اللازمة وتم تدريب جميع الكوادر على الأجهزة الموجودة في قسم الإسعاف والطوارئ. القسم الجديد الإسعاف إشي بجنن يعني أسرة أجهزة بتحسي إنك فايتة قسم إسعاف مخصص مهيا إنه يستقبل المرضى. Ruwaysid Hospital in Eastern Jordan used to only have two beds in its emergency department. Having now been equipped with 17 beds, the hospital is better placed to support the 20,000 people it serves. المستشفى يخدم مجموعة كبيرة من المواطنين الأردنيين والقوات المسلحة والأخوان السوريين في الفترة الأخيرة أنا باسم أهالي المنطقة نشكر فريق الاتحاد الأوروبي على هذا الدعم وهذه المنحة حقيقة هو يوفر المختبرات والجميع الأقسام في مبنى واحد إضافة إلى أنه يراعي خصوصية أبناء المنطقة يتوفر قسم للسيدات وقسم للرجال من خلال تجربتي الشخصية أنا مريضة ديسك كونه مش موجود بالمنطقة هذا الجهاز اضطريت أروح أنزل على عمان فرحت وأجيت فزادت حالتي كونه في نفس اليوم رحت وأجيت هاي حالي زي حال بعض المرضى اللي بيعانوا بالمنطقتنا مثل هيك أمراض ما في أجهزة بمنطقتنا تم تركيب ألواح شمسية على الطاقة الشمسية وهاي الألواح أولا بتقدم لنا طاقة نظيفة كثير من الأحيان يحصل في عندنا انقطاع في التيار الكهربائي وهاي الطاقة راح تمدنا بطاقة بديلة وكلفتها رخيصة Emergency departments were constructed and rehabilitated over a two-year period and the new facilities were handed over to the Ministry of Health in February 2020. Medical equipment, solar energy systems and furniture were procured and installed at the three hospitals. Training on the new equipment was provided to hospital personnel to help ensure its maintenance. To help ensure access to affordable and sustainable energy, photovoltaic systems, solar-powered heaters and lights were installed at each of the three hospitals. Three fully equipped ambulances were procured and delivered to the Ministry of Health in December 2019. The expanding and equipping of the Ministry of Health facilities impacted by the Syrian Crisis in Jordan project will contribute to Agenda 2030 and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals.